think so. Yes, uh, this, this is the um, members of the Southeast uh, Senate Caucus. And uh, we are here to see the Attorney General of the Federation and uh, Minister of Justice on a very, very um, important matter to the people of the Southeast. is the matter concerning Mazen Nam de Kano and the continued um, legal wranglings um, concerning his uh, incarceration. The Southeast Senate Caucus, just like the rest of the members of the Southeast, put the business leaders, the clergy, the political people, and everybody in the Southeast are uh, all very worried about it, knowing that that has been the fulcrum I would say, for what is going on in the South is regarding the insecurity. All the criminals and all the people going around causing mayhem in the Southeast have all said that it is because Mazen Namdekan is being held. We know that this is not the truth. It's just that we have gotten to the point where people are now uh, hijacking a legitimate call for his release and turning it into something that has led to deaths and um, destruction of properties and um, so many other undescribable mayhem that is going on in the southeast. And so we came to meet with the Minister of Justice and Attorney General because we know that at the end of the day, everything that happens in the political, um, in the legal scheme will eventually come to his office. And we came to appeal to him to um, help us to let Mr. President know that all leaders of the Southeast feel that the release of Mazen Nam De Kano will help in dousing all the tensions and everything that is going on in the Southeast. And we are very, very certain that his duty as the Attorney General also gives him the powers of nolle prosecute, the powers of um, making sure that litigation don't continue and the sufferings of the people of the Southeast continue. That is the essence of why we came here. And I think you know also, I think it's also clear that several different groups in the Southeast, including the Southeast governors who met yesterday, have all been making exactly the same type of plea. And we think that this will help us to bring to an end all the insecurity problems going on presently. Yes. The, on behalf of the caucus, I met with Nam De Kano myself uh, on behalf of the rest of the caucus on Monday. Today is Wednesday. We met with him between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. on Monday. And he is very, very supportive of this, our uh, plea to the president and federal of, and, uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We came here on his behalf, and that tells you that any of our senators that you see, the 15 of us, by the way, the 15 of us signed this uh, letter. Um, a few of us are not here just for reasons um, of logistics and all that, some are also not, but we all signed the letter, and you will also have a copy of the letters that we did. So any senator in the Southeast is very willing. The governors are willing. The um, uh, business leaders are willing. The uh, clergy, they are willing. So the, the traditional rulers are also willing. So I do not think that anything will stop us if it comes to that. And he has also assured me that he is ready to fulfill any conditions that are uh, put that will lead to his um, early release.
Yes, the AGF received us very warmly and also told us that, of course, this is a request for which he has to go and, uh, and study it, digest it, and take to the president because he won't take the ultimate decision. I think it's a decision of the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The appeal is that this matter cannot be resolved legally. And if we continue with the um, legal wrangling, that it will continue to cause the um, insecurities because the legitimate demands has been hijacked by criminals, undesirables, and all manners of um, elements who have used it to perpetrate their own um, or nefarious uh, uh, deals on the rest of the people of the Southeast. Nobody in the Southeast likes what is going on. People cannot go out of their houses on Mondays. People are uh, maimed and killed and all that. And some people are roaming around, killing even security men on, on, in the name of uh, looking for the release of Namdekano. And Namdekano himself also confirmed to me last Monday that he never, never made any request of that nature that anybody should go and kill people. In fact, he was very pained that the Southeast is suffering because of this. And he assured me that when any day is out, is also the day that they will now know those who are legitimate agitators and those who are criminal elements. Okay, this AIT man. You don't cut my head now. How would you do the way? What do you mean?